Okay, this mini lecture talks about the, the definition of work. So imagine that we have a, a force F um, acting on, um, on some particle. Um, and so the particle is, uh, is at the dot here. In fact, let me add that. Here's the particle right here. And um, during, during the time that the force is acting on this particle, the particle displaces, um, has a displacement delta x. And that the force and the displacement are at an angle of theta with respect to one another, as shown in the, in the picture here. So by definition, with that scenario, the work is the magnitude of the force times the magnitude of the displacement times the cosine of the angle between them which can be rearranged as f cosine theta times delta x. But f, co f cosine theta, um, this right here is f sub x with uh, definition of the coordinate system as shown here. So you, this could also be written as the x coordinate of the force times the displacement in the x direction. So that's the definition. We'll see plenty of examples of that as we go forward here. But here are some notes. Um, first of all, um, please note that F and delta X are displacements. F is a force. Delta X is a displacement vector. W, however, is a scalar. There's no vector relationship here. There is simply the magnitude of F and the magnitude of delta X and the cosine of the angle in between. Secondly, um, W is bigger than zero depending upon what the value of cosine is. If the cosine is bigger than zero, um, W is bigger than zero. But the cosine is bigger than zero if theta, cosine of theta, is um, ranges from zero up to, but not including 90 degrees. Um, thirdly, the W is less than zero if cosine theta is less than zero. Cosine theta is less than zero if theta ranges from 90, not including 90, um, up to and including 180. Um, recall now that the cosine of 180 is minus 1 and the cosine of 0 is plus 1. W is equal to 0. Well, there's various ways that can happen. W is equal to 0 if the force is equal to 0 or if the displacement is equal to 0 or if the cosine of theta is equal to zero, which happens, for example, if theta is equal to 90, that would happen if the force is, dis is perpendicular to the displacement. Or to say it a different way, if f sub x is, um, is equal to zero. Um, and so going back and looking at uh, one or two of these things, this one, for example, um, so the fact that delta x is equal to zero means no work is done if there is no displacement. Um, and so if a force acts on an object, but the object does not move, there is no work done. Um, an example of this one right here is um, uniform circular motion um, with a, the string tension pulling a rock around in a horizontal circle. And so in that situation, the tension of the string does no work because the tension is, in every instant of time, perpendicular to the displacement of the rock as it moves around in the circle, and therefore the tension would be doing zero work. Um, so uh, again, we'll be seeing um, many examples of, of this um, applied. And uh, one of the follow-throughs for this is to show how um, there is a relationship between the work done and the change in kinetic energy. That's called the kinetic energy theorem, and uh, that's um, what we'll talk about next.